Hey, happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Quickly, I had a really interesting conversation with a parent yesterday, and I have some notes here from that conversation. It was eye-opening because this parent realized that you know their 10-year-old athlete is doing anywhere from a range of seven to nine and a half, almost 10 hours of soccer, futsal games, and they're traveling, and they're doing this sport-specific in the same movement patterns over and over. And this dad was saying, you know, look, you know, my son needs to get faster, you know, and there's other physical uh, attributes that we're not seeing. Uh, and so we're wondering what we can do about it. And if that's you, I know a lot of parents out there uh, can relate to that. Know that if you're doing the same activities, one, you increase the chance, right, overuse injuries at an all time high. Um, and if we're, we need to kind of look at tally at the, 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 the schedule, if you will, for your young athlete, how much time you're investing, how much money you're investing, and then say, okay, you know, how do I actually help them improve at their sport? And then look at and say, okay, what am I investing as far as time and resources uh, into um, performance training, right? And what I mean by that is saying, okay, if, I'm, if they're getting all the conditioning, they're running around, they're doing activity, they're getting all that skills training, but they're not, they're not improving physically, right? Their physical attributes, right? To we, we cut here, we're gonna train that strength bucket, right? I have a blog post on sports performance and filling buckets, and I encourage you to check it out um, at titansportscomplex.com and uh, under our performance tab. But, so we've got the strength, the power, and the speed bucket, right? But if our young athletes don't ever learn and get into different movement patterns, and get him and, and learn different uh, skills to actually move, be more efficient movers, move better. But even before getting there, you know, we want to we want to increase a low line level of strength, right? So that base strength, and then from there we can feed into those other buckets I mentioned. And so if you're kind of wondering, man, you know, yeah, man, my athlete's not getting any faster. Reach out, right? Let us let us connect, and we can inform you and kind of help guide you on some of the programs that we offer for volleyball. Right, soccer, and just think about it. If you're doing, you know, almost 10 hours of the same activities, it's asking for trouble. All right, so let's change up the movement patterns. Let's let's help them become more efficient movers. Let's get them stronger, and then we can start to, to see a benefit in their sport, especially if they're in a power sport. Right, so if they've got to get in position and out of position quickly, and quick burst and jump and land and be explosive, I mean that's soccer, that's volleyball, that's football. All right, that's a majority of our sports, court and field. So get with us and uh, we'll help you guys out. We want to prevent injuries, right? And we want to enhance performance and they, those go hand in hand. All right, have a great Wednesday.